Oh, 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 oh. I like it. He's on, boys. He's I like it. on right there. Outside Perfect. board. There we go, dude. That's a, this is a stud. stud. This is exactly what you want to be doing right now. Look at that thing. Big, thick, heavy, open water roaming walleyes this time of year. What is going on? Is it rolling? Yeah. All right. What is going on, guys? Today we are back with another video. Look at this day, Mitchell. Hot, calm, flat, calm, sunny. sunny, middle of summer. And today we're going to go into a video which happens everywhere this time of year, at least many places. And that's how to combat these little buggers right here. The elusive mayfly. And these are some pretty decent sized ones out here. I was gonna and, say, those aren't even little. Those things are huge. And over the course of the last, you know, week, couple weeks here, mayfly hatches have been happening all over walleye country. So whenever something happens, we always get asked a ton of questions. How do you catch fish? How do you combat a mayfly hatch? So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. And uh, we're gonna go into some location stuff. We're gonna go into some presentation stuff and hopefully be successful. Now, whenever you see these, these big mayflies all over the surface, several days prior, those fish were coming up through the water column. So these fish have been eating very, I mean, there's just this massive amount of food that's been introduced to the system. So because of that, a couple things happen. Don't expect us to catch 50 fish today, but if we can put five, 10 good fish together on camera in the next hour or so, um, we'll be happy. So stay tuned, let's get it going on. Break down the mayfly hatch, how to combat it, and hopefully put a few nice walleyes in the boat. There's customer. There's customer time. Sure on a rock. There it is. Oh, 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 oh. I like it. He's on, boys. He's like on right there. Outside First board. First like one. It. Just started this trolling pass, too. We've only been doing it, what, seven minutes? Something like that. Seven to ten. And we're just going to take our time. Yeah. Got all day. This fish hopefully ain't going anywhere. He's definitely the right size. Yeah, definitely. Looks... He doesn't come up and do a big jump back there. And yeah. basically what we're doing today is we're pulling open water. We are not fishing structure. And what you see happen when you get these mayflies hatching is that fish abandon structure a lot of times because there's there's food everywhere in the system. Mitchell, take a screenshot of what our yeah. 2D and down imaging look like yeah. right now. Now this is, oh, there's no writable oh, in there. So well, we'll get you a screenshot right here. I'll just take one in a little bit. This is a screenshot of what just massive amount of bug larva and uh, small fry look like in the water column out here over the open water. I'll get it for you. I can grab them too, right. it's all good, it's all good. There we go. And because you have all of that life living off structure, they don't have to come into a, you know, a weed edge to eat. Or, you know, or a little rock hump where there's perch bundled up. They can eat anywhere they want in the water column. And that's exactly what we're targeting here. And with the spinner, it's just a slow... Slow and steady. How's it feel though? Go. He's definitely the right size. Stand down there. I like it. 30 feet. 30 feet. Usually little whippersnappers are Unless popping I'm... up right by now. Yeah, it should be a decent one here. Ooh, fish right here possibly? Yep. Um, yep. Unless I have it. You might, you you might, might have touched that on the land. We'll see, but it'll come right off once we get to here. Slow and steady, slow and steady. All right, Mitchell, here he comes. You're going to pop. Oh, nice fish. Yeah, real it's going nice to be a fish. real nice walleye. Really nice. There we go. And that's how you want to start it right there. <laughs> I'll let you uh, work on this back Yeah, so here. that fish surprisingly went kind of deep right when I hooked him. But super easy to get it undone. Take the bottom bouncer, unpop it. Let that swing back, and just like that, we got a nice walleye and no entanglement of lines here. So we'll go ahead and grab this guy and show him off to you, but this is exactly what we're after out here over open water. As long as Mitchell keeps me right in the fish. Oh, we're in them. Took us, a I guess, a little bit to get the first one, but we just kind of popped into a little different area here. There we go. Look at that. That is exactly, and the camera is off. No, it is still on. It's just not, says it's not recording for some reason, Mitchell. Hopefully it is, huh? I sure hope so. What do you think? Look at, look at this right here. Double up, double up, double up, double up. That's another nice one. So I'm going to get this oh, one back real quick. We need here. a SD card so I can screenshot this. You drop that. Look at this. Yeah. Lots of fish, lots of fish. We should yeah, be getting there. a lot of fish right below us right now. You get, you just get that other line out. I'll deal with this. 
the spinner rigs in the net. So that'll be a pretty simple one. And whenever you're doing boards by yourself, basically what you want to do, load the rod up to the most you can. Oh, I don't know if this is a walleye. If it is, it's a really nice fish. Okay, well, I'll just get ready. Just wait. I got no, 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 I got time. I got time. Here you go. Put this got all there. the time in the world here, Mitchell. And then just take your time. Keep the rod loaded slow and steady. And we'll go into our uh, rigging a little bit here. We're also going to do a walleye now video on exactly where you can find these fish over open water. Because I think a lot of people probably look at open water, Mitchell, and they're like, Where do I start? What a diamond in the rough yeah. pattern. Yeah. You know? Yeah, definitely take some time. Because look at that. There we go. Fish right here. Oh. Ooh, he let go. Yeah, he did. Could have touched bottom too. It came into that little harder spot. Yeah. Look at I that. I think Mitchell. that's a fish though. Yeah. We got sure. so we got three fish on right now. Should get or two on right now. We just caught that last yeah. one. This is the chaos of trolling. Yeah, and this is where it gets fun. Love. This is where it gets fun. Alright. Well on a day where it, how good would it be? Let's net this fish. Or maybe I'll net this one. Here, I could, I'll just leave this one's on. He's good. And how good would today be if you pulled into a spot and like slip bobbered or something? <laughs> oh, we almost oh, we had a one? quadruple right there. <laughs> All, right. Oh. All right, here he comes. All right. Here he comes, here he comes. Let's Slow and steady, 20 feet, 20 feet. I don't see him, Matt. don't see him. Don't see him. Oh, good fish. Yeah, they're all gonna be probably pretty nice today. Good fish, real good fish. Yeah. He's getting crazy, he's getting crazy. Mitchell, we are. Oh man, we literally keep having bites on that same rod. Yeah. <laughs> Good fish. Yeah, really. that's exactly what we're after right there. Oh, let me try that. You got him? There we go, dude. That's a, a that's a stud, stud out here. That All right, I got this. You grab that other rod. All right. We'll just keep switching off like this. Just need to get my remote back on me. And this is just it makes trolling a little easier. Just hit, hit her on autopilot. We'll be good. Oh, fish on over there, Tommy. Fish so we're, on, fish on. we're like quadrupled up right now. Yeah, yeah, lots of fish going. Nice. Well, I like that. Do you like it? That's my favorite thing in the world, man. You like trolling, Mitchell? I do. I do. Did quite a bit of this last season, didn't I? Yeah, you have to. In quite summertime. a bit. All right, we'll get this guy popped off here. Oh, like every day of my life. Look at that fish right there, dude. Just an absolute stud. I mean, that is just exactly what we're after. We'll let him go, and I'll help Mitchell out here. I gotta check this camera. Doing weird stuff. All right, we're good. Feels like a good, so, another good yeah. fish on so, here. That one could be on the fly. We'll see. Does it feel like he's on the fly or no? Really hard to say. Really yeah. hard to say. Feels like another good fish. So oh, it's gonna be. Another. And a lot of times this open water pattern is composed of a lot of larger fish. Especially in certain basins of the lake. Ooh. And a lot of times they're the most under harassed fish in a system. Yeah, for sure. You gotta get very precise on these fish ones. Yep. Yeah. These super, conditions. Super exact. And all the little things. I always say when talking about a tough bite. Zero to 30 fish. It's the always difference. the smallest things make the biggest differences when the bite's tough like this. I should probably clear the net. This is just a good old. Uh, fiasco just right off the bat. Huh? Oh, I love it. So do I. See how much line you got? Uh, the counter's not reading right now, but... What's it we're say? Getting, we're getting closer. It says 884, so I don't think that's correct. Oh yeah, it's definitely not 800 feet back. It must yeah, have hit the button. Correct. We're getting close. Yeah, 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 just keep them coming, keep them coming. Oh, it's going to be another really nice fish here. Oh, yeah, it feels good. There we go, Mitchell. Another nice fish on there. I'll work on this one. Just go right to that other rod. <laughs> oh, the, the magical, yeah, the magical trolling days out here over open water. I think, uh, I think that fish came off. Did he? Yeah. All right. Well, I'll show. It was, was it the inside one again? It was that one I got close to the boat had the fish yeah. on it. Don't think it's on there. I could check it. All right. Well, I'll show you guys this one real quick, and there you go. How's that for a little triple double to get things going up? All nice fish. That second one was like a real stud. We actually lost one, had another little nipper, and you get a lot of these nippers when you're fishing this. They, they come up real lethargic to baits. There you go. See you later, buddy. Well, that's how you want to get the day going, huh? I mean, that's, you know. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, you kind of come into that zone and there's a whole bunch of fish there, so we'll get set back up, do it again, but that is about as good as it gets right there.
Did you check that All one? Right, guys, so I'm not sure what Mitch was thinking because this one does so still have a fish say, in there. <laughs> there is. I don't know what, what yeah. you're talking about there for a second, but I don't know. There's just so much going on right now. I'll just bring them up just like this. I love these telescopic rods because you can kind of just like collapse the rod down to make it easier for taking the board off if you're by yourself. Pop the board off. We got a whole bunch of floating weeds because there's no wind. Then we're just back to fighting the fish here. Nice and slow and steady. It's gonna be another really nice walleye. It looks like it. I mean, this is You're just hanging there. absolutely one of my favorite patterns that happens every single year. And there's very few people actually out here targeting these fish when they're doing it. And with how much pressure, you know, everywhere's been getting fishing, you almost look forward to when fish get off structure because yep. it's like, oh man, everybody struggles to find those fish. Best time of year. Yeah. We'll keep bringing them in here. And I can't tell you guys, you know, having a lot of experience fishing this body of water. He's just running mine right now. Having a ton of experience fishing this body of water, how bad the bite would be if you like got into a rock hump or a weed edge and tried to catch fish there. <laughs> yeah, especially right now. That thing was actually pulling line on you? Mm -hmm. What do we have? It's gonna be another nice one. Is this a Mac Daddy? Coming in straight down. Whenever you get them coming in straight down on your trolling, they're normally good fish. How much line do you have left? 15, 10, he's gonna pop right here. Ooh, this is gonna be a good one. Oh yeah. Give him to me, Mitchell. I still don't see it yet. <laughs> oh, I got all these weeds on the... Oh yeah, too. good fish. Good fish, real good one. Right here by the boat's normally where they do one last little deal, yo. Scoop, scoop, scoop. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. A quadruple to start the day under terrible fishing conditions. If that doesn't speak leaps, or that doesn't speak, uh, you know, how important it is to kind of do things a little bit differently when you get these big bug catches. I don't know what will, but there we go. We'll pop them off and uh, get back to it. All right, going back. There we go quadruple to start the day this is the point of the day you always hope trolling days come to where you got rods over here rods over here you gotta check <laughs> yeah. that gotta do this gotta yeah. do that we'll get some stuff rigged back and we'll get back to you all right guys bug hatch presentations what are we doing obviously we're trolling open water and we're using kind of a combination of like a little bit of spinnery rigging type stuff and some of this uh it's kind of like a slow death presentation that i like to use a, a lot in this kind of a situation now you got to remember what are most of these walleyes eating on when you get these massive bug hatches. A lot of this mayfly larva coming up, this mayfly larva or maybe full grown mayflies getting washed around the water column and stuff like that. So there's a lot of this small stuff in the water column that walleyes are very routine to gorging on this time of year. What does a bug look like in the water, Mitchell? Does it look like this? Or is no. it going crazy? No. Or does it just go kind of slow and wispy? slow and wispy and just kind of hanging in the water almost weightless so these are the kind of things that you want to mimic when you get this kind of a deal going on so there's two things we're kind of trolling here one slow death one or two blades the smallest smiley or butterfly blade you can get that presentation right there is accounted for tons and tons of nice walleyes when you're fishing this bug hatch time and you, if you put on like a big thumper blade right now that's you know you got to pull hard to make it do something it doesn't have the same effect it's boop 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 where this is just kind of you know it takes no movement at all to get this blade to spin and it's very slow very small and very subtle so that's kind of one of the options right there and the other one which i just retied to put on another rod here because it's been working probably the best so far today is this rig right here now we're pulling this we're pulling all of these things on bottom bouncers, on one ounce bouncers. This right here, this is kind of like my modified slow death rig. It looks kind of weird because you get that snap and swivel. And I just did an awesome piece on the Walleye Now app called Finesse, Finesse Rigging Summer Walleyes, or summer, it, the thumbnail looks something like this right here, which goes in a phenomenal way, which I was catching fish yesterday in a body of water just holding a spinning rod and using this that works super good in a, in a situation um, where you might not where you might be fishing a small lake um, which is kind of a lot of ins and outs of structure so that video will be on the walleye now app click on summer click on natural lake thumbnail looks just like this but this is kind of my modified slow death rig here and the way i'm rigging both of these things up we'll grab a crawler out here because that's what we're using for bait today and 
When you put the crawlers in the water on a spinner rig, they obviously expand out and get huge. So what I like to do, something that looks just like this, obviously thread this on the slow death hook. You wanna thread it on a lot more than you normally would just to fit the hook. So it looks about like that right there. Then I'm gonna thread this up the line. I'm gonna push it over the snap. And I like having these snaps on there because you could put a lot of force on that crawler and that snap just like locks it in place like that. Then I like to pinch off the tail you need a little bit more than that so it's just this real short little deal with that swivel in there now you put this in the water and it just twirls and spins and it's so light and it's so wispy it looks exactly very similar to what they're trying to eat right now so these are kind of the two presentations that i like fishing a lot um, like i said we're obviously running them on planer boards we're keeping them well up off bottom and uh, that's kind of the deal All right, guys, well, we are hooked up again here. Again. Feels like we're stalling we're way already. Good right now. Wait, are we? No, yeah, we're going to get down in there. Somebody uh, waked us. Whew, lots of good weight on this thing. Holy crap. Yeah, there's a lot of nice fish out here over open water right now. And it's a pattern that really runs all summer. The specifics change quite a bit um, when you get these big bug hatches. And a lot of times, these big bug hatches are kind of the first thing that really pushes fish out of structure for the season. So you kind of see this just kind of get a little bit better and a little bit better and yep. a little bit better kind of as the season goes on. And uh, obviously today, um, they're all over this stuff. What do we have? What do we have here, Thomas? We have walleye, about a 22 inch I'll bet. Yeah. I'm gonna say it's... And when you're, con you know, when you're consistently catching a lot of fish in that, especially in a lot of your in the lakes in that 22 to like 24, 25 inch size, those are the biggest fish in the lake. I mean, the 29s are like far outliers, but yeah. if you're catching these 22s, 24s, 25s consistently, you know, put in your time, you'll start seeing, you know, this is where you end up catching 28 inches once in a while, or, yep. you know, the bigger 27 inch fish. What's it say? We're at six feet. Definitely a little more than six feet. We're about <laughs> 10 feet out. I don't think this thing's counting right. Keep How's them it coming. Looking? Nice Looks fish. like a nice walleye. Nice fish. Six. Looks like another nice walleye. Oh, yeah. Changing my bet to 24 inches. Yeah, that's, that's bigger than 22. Keep them coming. 25 Keep them coming. There. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. There we nice. go. We got them. Nice. <laughs> give me some, dude. <laughs> we'll, pop, uh, I snag? we'll pop them off. Give you guys a look. No, I shouldn't have snagged the other line. Yeah, you did. Somehow. Did he? I don't know how you managed to do that on an inside rod. Yeah, that's, that's a good, great question. I don't even know which line it is, to be honest. Well, it's definitely gonna be the inside rod. He buried it though, he went way back. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> 24, 25 right there, it's solid fish, solid fish. fish. Just a tank. Here we go. It's a hundred percent what we're out here to do right here. Catch these big, big old mamas. Yeah. All right. You want to get a picture for me? Because uh, we made a Wally Now Facebook page and Instagram page. So you guys should go check that out. We're going to post a bunch of updates of what we're doing daily on that page. All right. Back he goes. Here we go. Picture Back taken. The this solid, solid fish. Here we go. A whole bunch Get of these size in. babies today. We're just gonna thread a crawler back on there, put her back down, and See you later, dude. wait till the old church board just tanks back once again. Oh, Mitchell. That's looking right. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's <laughs> that's a good one. Right I'm just gonna leave that right there. Yeah, take care of that one. I was cleaning a few lines. Is this. How far back is this right now? About one foot. Okay. Let me just get it out. Oh, the man. They just, that one just. Look how flat, flattened out that yeah. board is back there. Usually a good sign. That's what daddy likes to see right there. Oh. Man, I absolutely love this pattern. Oh man. It's one, it's one of my, my favorites. favorites. Everybody's always like, oh, trolling for walleye is boring. Trolling for walleye is one of the funnest things of all time. Because you get It keeps you busy the entire day. Yeah, too. it's not like you're just like sitting back drinking mojitos <laughs> on <laughs> a lawn nothing. chair. <laughs> yeah, I mean you're yeah. constantly clearing rods, sending more out. You have one presentation that maybe catches more, so you start re-rigging other rods with that on. So it's this constant game of and tweaking things, changing things, because ultimately trolling's successful trolling is made up of being as efficient as possible with all of your lines. If you only have two rods that are being efficient out of six, well, then you're not going to catch a lot of fish. But when you get all six rods fishing efficiently, 
obviously makes a huge difference. People are gonna yell at Mitch for the clicker, probably. Oh, well. Whatever. It's always the biggest thing. So just so you guys are aware, maybe you guys, if any of you don't troll a lot, the sound you just heard was an actual clicker. What you're hearing off my mic is just the sound the reel makes when it's reeling. We got all sorts of comments in the last trolling video I did. <laughs> This thing feels like it's 45 pounds right now. Yeah, it could be. It really could be. Do you want me to get the board for you, or do you want to? Uh, yeah, you can grab this one. This one feels like crazy, ridiculously big right now. It's looking big. That line is tight. She's tight. Banjo tight. Twang like a banjo in here. All right, Mitchell. Oh, you actually wanted me to. Wow. Okay, so you had it. Absolutely love Ready? those yellow clips. There's zero give to those things. Yeah, they're great. Oh, dude, he's going. Slow down places. a little bit. No, no, no. Don't fight him too hard. Take him easy. Take him easy. You cannot lose this fish. 70 back. You cannot lose this. He's giving me some ground here. He's coming with us. He's like, I want to see what I'm hooked up to. He wants to take a look at me and I want to take a look at him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, keep coming. 30 back. He's coming quick now. All right. Is this our banner fish for the day? The what fish? Is this like our daymaker fish, or is this like a six pound smallmouth? Yeah, I don't think it's a small way. I don't think it, it is. Feel like a Ooh, we're going over a couple, a couple good oh, marks. Oh yeah, look right at that. It's 30 feet, baits are about 20 down. Here it comes one. Mitchell, here he comes. I'm nervous, what is it? I'm nervous. Oh, big fish. Big wall. Oh, dude, real big one. <laughs> I don't think he's as big as that last he's one. He's kind of just that same class of big. But he's just Those big, thick, thick northern Wisconsin goldies. All right, we got a circle going on here, Mitch. All right, we're straight. We're straightened out. I'll give you guys a look at this one. This one bit on the tiniest smiley blade you can have. Slow death half crawler. Stud walleyes. Stud walleyes. We'll grab him here. Oh, it's okay, girl. It's okay. This is why you, whoa, this is why you want to fight them so soft on spinner rigs. Because a lot of times that hook just barely, I mean, it's in the skin, but it's just kind of barely in there. He was never coming off, actually. That one was hooked real good. There we go. Look at that thing. Big, thick, heavy, open water roaming walleyes this time of year. Kind of uh, playing the game of the mayfly hatch, but having a ton of success today doing it. We'll let that guy go. And uh, it has been a productive quick little outing for sure. There oh, he yeah. goes. Yeah. I may have a fish on this one and I definitely do. As I was pulling the board in to check it, it, Tom. Oh, got bit. Nice, nice, nice. So much floating debris, we're constantly clearing lines today. Yeah, and I wasn't sure at first if it was just weeds, but it's definitely a fish. It's definitely a lot, a lot of maintenance today, keeping it all chugging. How many feet you got? 46 feet. 46 feet, maybe I can get this out in time. I'll try to get this out real quick here. So got the adequate amount of line out. So you put good. the amount of line out you need to get to the depth you want to get to. Then you put the board on, and then the amount of feet from the board to your rod doesn't really matter. That's just for spacing. If you guys want to learn the dive curve for any one ounce, two ounce, three ounce, 10 ounce bottom bouncer, very simple just to Google it and see exactly how deep you need to go. Then obviously I'm setting the outside rod, so I'm just letting this line way back right now, that one I just dropped in. Now when it gets back far enough to swing outside all of our lines, all I'll do is close the bale and it'll swing right back into place. The church boards are super nice because they get so wide. Yeah, they really spread. Very fast. Yep. That's just how it's it is. Big fish season now. Keep them coming, keep them coming, keep them coming, keep them coming. Do have a little weeds on there as well. Yeah. Weeds like down a nice deep. Fish, though. Oh yeah, another nice walleye here. Come here, girl. Nope, he's gonna make a little run. There you go. I he's gonna bring him to me backwards. <laughs> Backhanded him though. <laughs> oh, that one. We're good sketchy. to go. Nice. And nice just fish. like that, you can take a day. Another good one. Where fishing would be very average if you're just doing the standard, throwing a jig on a hump, throwing a slip bobber on a hump, doing something locked down to structure. 
when you get all this food in the system, these fish get up in the water, they get floaty, and they just kind of roam around. We just shot an awesome piece kind of in between bites there, breaking spots down. Where do you start looking for walleyes in open water? Because a lot of times it's a needle in a haystack. So kind of looking at a big map, looking at the big picture, dialing in an area like we're in today where you can look at it and say, yep, that, that's a probable area for fish to be sitting up high in deeper water. A lot of our fish we're catching today, we're putting baits 18, 20 feet down in 30, 35 feet of water, and that's been productive. Might be different on your lake, but the Walleye Now app, if you just click on Let's Go Fishing, click Summer, click Natural Lakes, there'll be an awesome piece called How to Find Open Water Walleyes. And these are the exact fish that we're after right here. There we go, look at this. This is exactly what you wanna be doing right now. Nice fish, let's get back in the water. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. Quick little rundown, throwdown, shakedown out here, doing some open water trolling for some walleyes. Awesome pattern, obviously caught a pile of fish, and my gosh, the mayfly slicks out here are crazy. And, uh, but hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed it. One thing I wanna say, on the Walleye Now app, I have uploaded so much content over the last week or so now. We're kind of in that midsummer time frame now, obviously, everywhere we're going. And there's so many sneaky little tips that catch more fish this time of year. It's a phenomenal time of year to be on there and stay updated um, with everything on the Walleye Now app. So once you get on there, hit Let's Go Fishing, hit uh, Summer, and then select what type of body of water going on. And we have an absolute mountain of content up there. Summer's a lot of those times you see like finicky bites, tricky bites, yeah, fish can be sure. here, they can be there. There can be very a lot of differences in where they are and it's tiny little things that ultimately catch you more fish like we showed today. Um, and the walleye now has just an absolute mountain of, of that information so um with that being said i appreciate you guys watching this video we're gonna get off go get some lunch get back in the boat film something else and i'm gonna go home tonight and edit some more content but um, i appreciate you guys watching this one Min mitchell any last words nope hope, hope you guys enjoyed it and see you at the next video and if you guys are not subscribed yet please do that we'll see you next time